ATM pathway is a, a pathway governed by a taxitelangiectasia mutated gene, uh, which is a principal responder to uh, DNA damage in form of double strand breaks. And uh, this pathway uh, makes decision uh, whether cell will repair damaged DNA and survive or alternatively die. So it's uh, easy to envisage that if this pathway is altered, uh, cells with the damaged DNA will prob propagate, multiply and they have potential uh, to become cancerous. Uh, what is also important is that if uh, this pathway is inactivated, uh, cells do not have a uh, very good chance of responding to classic chemotherapy or any other DNA damage inducing agents. So what we found over the years is that uh, depending on uh, various cohorts, up to 30% of patients may have uh, inactivation in ATM pathway. And uh, uh, these patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia uh, do not traditionally uh, maintain good response to chemotherapy. Uh, but also in the era of new treatment, we find that a proportion of patients carrying these alterations uh, eventually relapse. And we believe it's uh, uh, coupled with the genomic instability and the rapid acquirement of a range of different alterations in those tumors. Uh, so, uh, what we found in more recent uh, work is that ATM inactivation not only gives these uh, phenotypic features of, uh, such as poor response to therapy, but it also provides uh, uh, features uh, w uh, which we can uh, target uh, by uh, means of new targeted therapies. Uh, one of new emerging uh, consequences of ATM inactivation is uh, uh, reorganization of epigenetic uh, uh, structure, epigenetic architecture, and this will be presented in one of our uh, posters at this meeting. The bulk of our research is uh, around understanding how cells, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia cells that have uh, ATM inactivation survive. What are alternative pathways that they need to activate, uh, mostly uh, in terms of DNA repair, but it could be other uh, cellular features such as metabolism and so on. And uh, uh, so we tend to uh, first identify these pathways and then identify appropriate inhibitors that can inhibit these pathways and therefore diminish the uh, chances of these cells to survive. And uh, over the years we used the uh, uh, inhibitor against DNA repair protein PARP, more recently uh, ATR and so on. And these inhibitors actually are uh, clinically applicable and can be used in clinical trials. And we are currently having a clinical trial uh, in UK with ATR inhibitor in combination uh, with the uh, BTK inhibitor for refractory chronic lymphocytic leukemia.